to starting a new business revolves around researching your idea. When you're researching your idea, it is primarily going to revolve around identifying your target market, your competition, and who your supply chain is going to be. Now first, let's look at research in general. First, you have primary and secondary research. Primary research is research that you actually conduct yourself, which is typically through some type of focus group or survey or some other type of face-to-face -face interaction with potential consumers. Secondary research is actually using research that has already been conducted and trying to learn from it to make your decisions. The research that you're actually conducting is going to primarily revolve around who your consumer is going to be and identifying the primary and secondary target markets or essentially the consumers who are going to be primarily purchasing your products. You want to create all of your marketing campaigns around your primary and secondary markets to make it as appealing to them as possible. When you're thinking about your primary and secondary markets, you must identify their wants and needs and what they're actually capable of purchasing. Identifying their actual ability to purchase your products comes down to their income. How much discretionary and how much disposable income they have will really dictate how much want or need they have for your product. Next, you must identify really who the target market is as far as segmentation. Demographics, geographics, psychographics, identifying the unique qualities of your consumer and how to properly market to them really comes down to the segmentation. Uh, again, what age, what uh, demogra uh, geographic, what gender uh, really will help identify how you're actually going to be marketing to your consumer. When you're thinking about marketing, you should always be also thinking about your competition. What is the competition doing? How can you do it better? And what can you copy from them? Doing something such as a SWOT analysis will really allow you to create an internal and external analysis of your business. The internal part is the actual strengths and weaknesses. What is your business good at? What is it not? And how can you improve it? The opportunities and threats revolve around what the competition is doing and how, again, you can mimic or essentially uh, see the opportunity to compete and gain more market share. When it all comes down to though is, can you actually get the products to your actual suppliers? Your supply chain is extremely important. They will dictate what your final costs are and how quickly you can get the product to your consumer. If you don't have a strong supply chain, you won't have a successful business. So identifying again, what your consumers want do they want a premium product? Do they want a discounted product? Uh, what can they afford? Will really dictate what suppliers you're actually using and what type of products you're offering to them. If you have any questions on how to start a new business, please do not hesitate contacting us. Thank you.